Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today's upload is going to be, um, oh, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so today's upload is going to be about the potential for a significant, rather significant pattern change, especially since we're going from some very warm conditions into a potential, um, rather a rather significant cooldown um this uh we will be seeing a cooldown around I don't know, late in the, the first week of july maybe the second and that's what the long range models are showing most of them uh is the, the climate prediction center showing it yet no the cpc mm, it's not showing yet but i want to show you this what they're showing right now because it probably will change and mark my words they're always a little bit behind um because they don't want to get too soon by the models but look 8 to 14 day outlook, they're still showing above average for much of the country, but that's not what the models are showing, unfortunately, so that's something we just can't take with too much uh, confidence. Uh, if you like these if you like these, uh, these videos, these pattern change videos, any type of videos that I make on my channel, you could consider subscribing to this channel, consider liking the video. Uh, if you like this video after the, after the end of the video, you could consider liking it. I'm not telling you to like it now, but you could also subscribe. So, uh, there was, last video, I remember people were telling me, they're like, what type of pattern change is this gonna be, you know, what, what, what I don't, you know, I don't really, no, I don't believe you, I don't really, no, I don't, I don't think there's gonna be a pattern change, it looks like there's gonna be hot conditions, well, the, you know, the forecast has changed since then, and in my favor, actually, so, my favor, the, the, what I was saying in the first place, so let's go through it right now. Uh, let's go to two meter temperature anomaly and some of these uh, if this is to, to hold right it could be some very chilly conditions actually so you can see right now very warm conditions across the country um some potential heat waves going on you can see very just very warm all throughout and then we start seeing this a uh, blue and not just these blue right here that is basically just thunderstorms that erupt take the air from way up high in the atmosphere in the air they bring it down and swam mash it down on the air on the two on the surface of the earth and that's why it's way colder on the two meter at the two meter temp at the two meter height and um we see that uh, that's not the only anomaly that we see we just see a general cooling even before these thunderstorms and uh that's you know that's not even the major first one uh the, the major cooling comes in around here you can see right there so gotta give it to them the 8 to 14 is through the 9th of july and this is gonna be occurring towards the tail end of seven and eight so they may not you know include that in because the majority of that period from july 3rd to july 9th is gonna be warm towards the end it's gonna be cooler so i think they'll uh, include that in a couple of days when the when we get closer to this oncoming cool down so again nothing significant uh, fairly warm you could see the west becoming warm the east becoming warm but then we start seeing the central part of the country becoming cooler um not not hot anymore of uh, you know nothing ridiculous cold but definitely a little bit chillier and this is sunday july 7 2019 and look at that we see an eruption of cold uh th th this is around 12 8 to 12 degrees below average which is definitely a difference and look <clears throat> that's not even a thunderstorm right there that is uh, wow i didn't even see that earlier that is around 16 to 20 degrees below average so definitely a a chillier period is on tap and you can see more is coming from the north so uh this is uh you know definitely um how do I say this? It's definitely uh, changing. Uh, I think the summer will be pretty cool. I don't think it will be marked by the warm temperatures. I mean, if you look at this, you see predominantly blue in the longer range. Um, obviously, some spots will be known as a warm summer, like the west and the east probably, but the central part of the country was supposed to be cooler. And right now, that's what it looks like to be fairly cool uh, for the next couple of days we see some warmer temperatures across the central part of the country but that's you know they're not ridiculously above average you know four to six maybe some on the hot, warmer this is like the warmest day above average this is gonna be 12 to 16 degrees above average which is gonna be hot but uh not ridiculously now you know this is this isn't gonna be summer i think especially for central u.s <laughs> marked by warm temperatures i mean maybe if you are are already seeing very warm temperatures where you live maybe you know it, it's gonna be a different story but i could tell you many states in the midwest many people are saying it's been downright it's been a downright cold chilly wet muggy uh gloomy i should say not muggy summer and it's not really been i mean look at that 70s across the midwest and upper plains june 25th 
that's not warm. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not just gonna break it to you. Uh, down here, 80s, 90s. Yeah, that's you know that's warm. But then that's already Wednesday, Thursday. And we see those warmer temperatures. You could see 80, 90s, fairly widespread. But that's what you expect. We're getting into the warmest time of the year. It's not gonna be like warm like this for a, um, you know. July is still warm and August is still warm, but uh, we don't usually see much warmer temperatures than we do in June or July. Those are like the highest. So we see, you know, several days are going to be very warm, 80s, 90s. Potentially, you could see right there Chicago around 90 degrees, a little bit. We start seeing that cool down, 70s and 60s coming down. And then look at that July 2nd, 3rd, a little bit cooler though. Uh, not nothing ridiculous, 70, 79, 80, nothing, you know, absolutely out of the out of this world and then we start seeing another tiny warm-up you can see some 90s hundreds across the south but it never really went back sorry i keep yawning whenever i make these videos i always keep yawning it always aggravates me and for no reason maybe it's just when i talk for so long i don't know but you could see that this is during the freaking day july 7th there could be like mid-july early to mid-july this is the hottest time of the year and especially for this part of the country and you could see 60s 50s 70s barely 80s so yeah uh potential major pattern change in a long range look at that that's way below average 60s 70s that is downright cold for july uh, and, the, and, the, and the warmth is confined to the southeast which is not even ridiculously out of hand i mean some hundreds yes but the you know the models are possibly overdoing this but that's typically you see a couple of hundreds in the southeast per year and then uh, in the further long range, we don't know. I mean, look at that. That's some pretty chilly air. So some September-like air is definitely on tap. Um, 50s, yeah, as I showed you, there could be possible 50s uh, during the freaking day. That is October-November air. However, uh, you know, that's only in a couple of places. Most of the United States in the cool-down area will be 60s and 70s, which is uh, September air. So, you know, a potential fairly you know fairly uh nice cool down i think many people like this especially after a period of warmth uh, many people i mean look look the 8 to 14 yeah look they're showing above average i'm not buying that i'm sorry uh this climate prediction center sometimes has something well handled this time around it just does not uh the 8 to 14 outlook it's just under representing the cold you go to the 6 to 10 day outlook um let's go to s click on a 6 to 10 day outlook Client Prediction Center, you can see it's warm, and it's warm for much of the country, excluding the West and maybe the South. So people are going to be nice. Uh, people are going to be welcoming this cooler air after such warm temperatures across the country. Now, uh, I also wanted to point out, uh, what did I want to point out? I also want to go to National Weather Service and show you the... Uh, the, the, we have a severe thunderstorm watch here over our area. Um, that's like basically the only thing that's going on. Look, it's very calm across the country. A few, I think, those are heat advisories uh, across southern Florida. But here, if you live in the Chicago area, fuck uh, There could be uh, a little bit of uh, severe to isolated storms, uh, isolated severe thunderstorms, but it shouldn't be a widespread event. So... And that's basically what's going on in terms of weather for the next couple of days. Very calm and very hot. So, uh, I mean, look at these temperatures in the early, early range. That's, I'm not undermining them. It's going to be warm. It's going to be very warm, but it's not going to be, you know, record-breaking heat. We're far away from that this year across the Midwest. It's been a very wet, chilly year. Look, the nights, I mean, they're 50s. And there's rarely a night where it does not go down below 60 degrees you can see maybe maybe in the shorter range where the days are going to be in the 90s and 80s then the nights are going to be in the 70s but as we go on further and further you can see uh 50 so if you're wondering what is the pattern change you're still wondering at this video and couldn't figure it out um basically it's gonna be chillier for the second week of J july uh starting around the 8th the 9th it's going to be pretty chilly if we go to the cfs weekly which i showed you in last videos and let's go to two meter temperature anomalies seven day averages this week very warm next week you know slowly cooling down and we see those blue colors take over which uh they're showing later on may warm up again probably i would you know i would be surprised if this warmth would stay for uh, this cold would stay for too long if this cold would stay that long um, so the video is going to end in a couple of seconds, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Consider liking the video. And I'll catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.